Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The color, design, and shape of ships and aircrafts constitute some of their most visible attributes and usually attract admiration. But then, modern technology seems to have given more meaning to these traits than meets the eye. In today's feature, let's explore how the aesthetics and design of aircraft and other massive engineering wonders can impact on their smooth functioning. Besides powerful engines and elegant interiors, paintwork is also crucial in determining the lifespan, safety, and performance of an aircraft. Painting provides effective corrosion resistance for the aircraft's exterior. But have you ever wondered why, of all the colors in the world, most airplanes are painted white? The answer to this question is rooted in thermal science. The color white reflects sunlight more than any other color and also minimizes both the heating and potential damage from solar radiation. Reduced temperatures inside the cabin also means lesser usage of fuel in cooling the craft. Airplanes are repainted every seven to 10 years due to cracks and chips formed over time which could lead to deterioration of the aircraft's body. For this, the old paint has to be stripped off before any new paint is applied. Stripping off is usually done by spraying a special solvent on the plane's body and letting it gradually dissolve the existing paint. This process usually lasts up to 24 hours. After which the aircraft is coated with a yellow anti-corrosion primer paint. Many airplanes are painted using a very thin layer of spraying paint. Certain parts of the aircraft are covered with a thick paper material as each layer of paint is added. Those parts are then painted following the aircraft's desired design and aesthetics. Painting an aircraft also helps to represent decorative or thematic motifs, which serves to identify the aircraft operator's vision and make their brand stand out. This marketing strategy was implemented by the largest airline operator in Japan through three of its aircrafts. All Nippon Airways Company has three Airbus 380 aircrafts uniformly painted with a sea turtle theme the Hawaiian sea turtle is regarded as a symbol of good luck, long life, and prosperity. The design was created using 3,300 liters of paint, covering 38,750 square feet of surface area. The livery was applied on the Airbus A380 aircrafts by 120 painters over the course of 21 days. Extensive and detailed artwork was required to achieve the beautiful finishing. In the case of military aircraft, the paint job serves a totally different purpose. An aircraft like the US F-16 Fighting Falcon was created with the intention of reducing as much visibility 
on the enemy's radar screens as possible. Contact eight miles northwest of Lucky Five One Heavy Climbing Team One Zero Thousand. During painting or repainting of the F-16 jet, a special class of polymer-based radar-absorbing material, or RAM, is applied to the outer surface, typically composed of high concentrations of iron powders in a polymer matrix. These rams are used in combination with other stealth technologies, such as planar design and hidden engines, to make military aircraft difficult to detect. The F-16 is also regularly repainted in the U.S. military corrosion control facilities. It typically takes four airmen a week to sand, prime, and paint the aircraft. We start by sanding all the old top coat off and feathering out any damage that's on the aircraft. Then we move on to spraying it with primer so that the new paint will adhere to the old paint and bare metal. And then we come along and finish with a top coat. A stealth aircraft's design also significantly reduces its radar cross-section. The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Stealth Aircraft, also known as the Stealth Bomber, portrays one of the most unique aircraft designs in the world. The leading edges of the B-2 aircraft's wings are angled at 33 degrees, and the trailing edge has a W shape. The B-2's engines are also positioned within the wide body of the aircraft, with intakes mounted on the top of the wings, masking its acoustic and infrared signature. The U.S. Navy is also constantly seeking ways of improving on its anti-ship missile defense systems. One of these is the idea of designing and building destroyer stealth ships such as the Zumwalt class of vessels. The Zumwalt features a hull design that gets narrower above the waterline than its beam and looks like a knife cutting through water. The Zumwalt class destroyer is capable of performing a range of command and control missions while maintaining its stealth due to the extensive use of composite materials in its structure that offers a low radar cross section. However, the structural design of general ocean going ships are not as sophisticated as stealth vessels. The hull of a ship, being the part most subjected to strains, is mostly constructed with steel, which is ideal for longevity and strength. Another advantage of using steel during construction is that it's tougher than aluminum and more abrasion resistant when compared to any other boat building material. While aluminum alloys are lighter than steel, they have a high initial cost compared to steel. And just as white color is common to airplanes, a reddish color is widely seen on the hull of most ships. This is because in the past, shipbuilders have used a copper or copper oxide coating on the hull of ships giving them a reddish appearance. This coating acts as a barrier against corrosion of the metal hulls and also prevents marine organisms from attaching to the hull and affecting the vessel's performance. Although biocides can be mixed with any paint color today, the hulls are still painted red to maintain a nautical tradition. With a combination of ancient techniques and futuristic concepts, 
the shipping and aviation industries have come a long way with brighter ideas for substance and survival. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.